Hey guys, thought I'd just make a quick video. I'm going to be changing out the blower motor in my 88 with one from my parts car and uh, so I uh, thought I'd just make a quick video on it and uh, it blows the fuse every time I go to turn it on so I'm just going to be swapping it out and uh, the turn signals are no longer functioning. The stock is broken and uh, I'm going to be swapping that out also. I'm going to be using this turn signal stock here from the uh, white car. I've got to have some turn signals that work. And uh, even though I plan to drive this car, I need to have turn signals in the 88 right now. And I'll worry about getting uh, another stock later on for this car. Right, for these screws here, you just want a little bitty screwdriver and it goes right in like that and there's one here on the other side and once you get that screw out and this just comes right out just like that so after you remove the screws here you can just lift this cover up here and pull it out all right so here it is removed so here we are at the 88. The first thing I'm going to do here is remove my horn pad and you do that by just like grabbing the edge and popping it out. Now be aware that there is a wire on the back side of your horn pad and uh, mine just easily released. Now when you look down in the center of the steering wheel you're going to see a 24 millimeter nut and uh, here's my 24 millimeter socket. And you just uh, lock the steering wheel first, make sure it's good and locked, and uh, then put your socket down in there. And what you want to do is make sure you've got the uh, wrench facing out the door, so that way when you break loose and it comes down, it just hits you in the thigh. <laughs> because if you bring it inside and it goes up you can end up smacking the windshield and uh, that would not be pleasant so uh, once you break these loose you can pretty much get in there with your finger and spin them out and uh, now before I go any further I'm going to put my key in the ignition unlock the steering wheel and bring it to center so when I take my wheel off and I go to put it back on, I'll know exactly where it needs to go and uh, I don't have to mess with it. And then you can see the steering wheel comes right off. And there you can see the three screws I need to remove. And here's the cruise control stock. Now I'll be putting this stock on the new components here and uh, I'll show you how that's done. So I was getting ready to remove this uh, cover here in my 88 and I try and keep everything pretty nice in this car and whenever I see something isn't right or it's broken I always try and replace it and this is exactly why I keep parts cars around. I uh, found that there's no screw in this because the upper part of this uh, cover here is broken so uh, I'll be putting a new one of those in as well. Okay, so I have the three screws out there. I'm going to pull up on this upper cover here. And uh, just be gentle with these things because they are pretty delicate. Especially as old as they are. They're, they're, uh, they don't like to be pulled on and tugged on so much. At 30 years of age. So uh, sometimes you just have to uh, take your time with it. So here they are side by side. This one's the one out of the 88. And this is the one out of the parts car. Well, I got a few seconds. I think I'll pull this upper cover out here. And, uh, that was just the dash cover. Popping. And uh, I'll take it over here to the 88. And uh, go ahead and put it in. I don't know. It might not hurt me to clean some of that brown dust off of it though. Alright, so I got this plate all cleaned up and it is ready to go back in. 
All right, guys, my first thought was to just change these out and uh, swap the stock so I could keep my cruise control handle. But uh, I got the uh, one out of the parts car out and you can see that that's broken there. And uh, the only part that's broken in mine is this little white plastic tab. So I've decided that I'm going to remove my broken white tab here and I've already removed the uh, spring here so this has already been removed and I'm just going to take this apart and uh, I'm just going to swap out the broken part here so here's a better look at those contacts and I guess traces you can see that one's broken I'm not sure what exactly it operates but uh it's not going to work so uh, here's the one out of my 88 you can see they're in much better condition no corrosion on them at all uh, the only thing I need to swap are these little pieces here okay so here it is I've got it back in now it didn't quite work out the way I'd originally planned I originally planned just to uh, swap this uh, stock out here and uh, the one from the uh, 87 parts car in here and it would be a simple fix uh, that said I had to remove this anyway so this wasn't a big deal my problem was there's a spring or a little piece of metal you can almost see it there right behind uh, that little white thing there this right there there's a spring little piece of metal that goes from here to here in a straight line behind it and it acts as a spring so when you go to turn that turn signal see how that pops out there when you go to turn on a turn signal that spring or piece of metal springs that down and when the steering wheel comes by it swipes that and kicks your turn signal off well what had happened is that piece of metal that does that fell out or something over the years and uh, that little white tab got jammed down in my turn signal so I couldn't use them so basically I didn't have any turn signals and uh, so what I did was just take the good parts from the 87 parts car since the uh, I don't know what those are called I'm gonna call them uh, you know the uh, traces or whatever since they were broken I just used the good parts from the 87 parts car and now my turn signal should not only work but they should now return whenever I uh, turn the steering wheel so I'll get the wheel on here and then we'll move on to replacing the blower motor alright guys so I got the steering wheel in here and I also wanted to show you where I replaced the upper plate there so I could put the screw back in there and now everything is just a little bit better than it was I have turn signals that work again and they also return so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna crawl in the engine bay of this parts car here and I uh, need to get up there to the blower motor okay I got the cover off now I had to uh, work around it with a screwdriver because it's so cold tonight that this stuff is really really tough and really really hard normally it's really soft and gooey but tonight it isn't um, and then you just grab it at one corner and just pretty much pull it off and you can see that I didn't do any damage to it but uh, a little scuff okay. it's uh, not gonna it's not gonna hurt anything um, so you can see this still has the uh, zip tie on it from the factory so this has never been removed I'll take this screw out here and uh, then we'll have a blower for my car that should work alright so I removed the screw here and I was able to pull the resistor uh, block out of the way here and then I just lifted up on the uh, blower motor and pulled it out um, kind of comes suddenly if you just pull up on it, pull it out, 
doesn't pop right out and you can see I didn't scuff it a bit so it came out perfectly but it is a tight fit in there and then I was able to unplug it and so now I'm gonna go get the one out of my car and uh, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and uh, I'll test it before putting it in I want to make sure that it works and uh, I may end up if that's not the problem if the blower isn't the problem I may end up having to swap this in which isn't an issue but uh, just something I may need to do so I'm over here at my car and my shroud just popped right off someone's messed with it before you can see someone put a black zip tie on that probably to mimic the factory zip tie but obviously it didn't work um, yeah you can see that this has been off before someone's probably tried to figure out why it kept blowing fuses when I bought the car this was unplugged here and uh, I didn't know why I just knew the heater didn't work or the blower didn't work and uh, so I came along and plugged it back in and it worked for about a week and then it started blowing fuses and I soon realized why they had it unplugged so that's why we've got this other blower motor here and I'm going to plug it in and test it before I go to all the trouble of trying to uh, put it in if it doesn't work I have another blower motor that was already out but I uh, I thought maybe this one would be a better one so all right let's get to testing it all right so there you go there's the new one running smoothly and quietly I've already run it up through all the speeds and it blew leaves everywhere so it is running great I did uh, clean it up in the back and sprayed some lube into the motor a little bit so that way it could uh, uh, free up some of the uh, dirt and stuff that got in the back of it because it wasn't running all that great but uh, the lube has freed it up it's probably been sitting for at least 10 years so uh, there you go all I got to do now is put it in and I'll have some heat in my car all right so here they are this is the one that I'm going to be putting in I cleaned it up just a little bit I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but it didn't have to look like junk going back in either I want it to look pretty nice and like I said there's a little bit of corrosion on this motor but uh some sprays of some lube and uh it came right out and uh, it's running perfect now so uh this may have saved this motor there may have just been some corrosion in there but uh after it's blown like three fuses on me i'm i'm not really the, looking to fix it i'm looking to just replace it and uh if i can fix it then i'll go down that path but that's not where I want to go right now. Right now, since it's winter time, I need something that I know will work or have a better chance of working. So I'm just going to go with a replacement and uh, I'm getting ready to pop it in there and uh, put the little shroud back on. Since I worked so hard getting off the parts car, I would just go ahead and replace it. Got it cleaned up like new. I just got to stick it in and this job is complete. So there you go guys. It's a nice and clean install and back together the way the factory did it. And now I have some heat tomorrow morning. So uh, thanks for watching guys and until next time.